Hi, today on Jay's Wheel Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make delicious scones, which are a traditional uh, snack for tea time, uh, both in England and in South Africa, and pretty much all around the world. But these are really, really simple. There's only seven simple ingredients uh, that we can throw together in no time flat. So you're going to need two cups of flour, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a cup of butter, two tablespoons of sugar, and then we're going to take an egg and either water or milk uh, and go up to three quarters of a cup, just as shown here. And really, you won't believe quite how easy this is. We're just, I'm using sugar, you don't have to if you want to make these purely for savory use, I wouldn't use sugar, but I'm going to throw my sugar into my flour, my baking powder, and my salt and just using a whisk just to mix it all quite well together. Now you can also use self-raising flour for this, but if you do that, you wanna take out the baking powder or make it uh, only about a half a teaspoon and about a, a quarter teaspoon of salt still. All right, and once that's well combined together, uh, we're going to take our butter and I just sort of cut it up into smaller chunks and we're going to put that in there and you know I like to get my hands in there. And you're just basically going to sort of rub that all together until it becomes a crumbly mixture. You want to just make sure that that's well combined and it's going to sort of look like just a slightly thicker or moister um, powder and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our milk and our egg that we combined by putting our egg into our measuring cup and then pouring in enough milk or water uh, to make it three quarters of a cup. And we're simply going to just beat that together. And we're going to add that into our flour mixture. Now you can uh, use whatever you want. I'm just using a wooden spoon uh, just initially until this starts to come together a little bit, but then we're going to get back in there with our hands. And it is going to make quite a nice loose and soft dough. And when it's all well combined, we're going to flour our surface quite liberally. Take out our dough. And just make sure that it's all nice and evenly combined as smooth as possible. And when it comes together rather nicely like that, we're going to gently roll it out. Quite thick actually, we want it to be about two centimeters thick, which is just under an inch. And I'm using just a smaller cutter uh, like this, and we're going to cut out our scones. Give us some nice sort of slightly larger than bite-sized scones and continue. And then as you're going, you're going to obviously make sure that you uh, use up all your dough. So keep rolling it out until about two centimeters thick uh, until all your dough is completed. And you're just gonna pop them each onto a baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper, but you could always line with uh, butter if you want to, and pop that into a 400 degree oven for anywhere from 12 to 18 minutes. I usually go around 15, just to make sure that they're slightly browned on the bottom and on the top. Once he's 
scones are out of the oven, you can cool them off, uh, or you could try them right away with some butter, which is a wonderful way because they're, the pastry is just so nice and light and it just pulls apart. Um, but honestly, the way I like to do it most is whipping up uh, two tablespoons of sugar and about a cup of whipping cream, whipping it up until you've got really stiff peaks and then decorating the top uh, of a buttered scone with strawberry jam and uh, whipped cream. It's just amazing. And I've been dying to try these because I really do love scones. Um, and this is one of my favorite recipes. Mm. Oh, that's so good. The, the scone itself is so light and it doesn't detract at all from the uh, strawberry jam or the butter on there, but it's just a, a perfect base for that sweetness of the jam and the whipped cream. You have to try these and the nice thing is it takes no time to throw them together. If you do, I'd love to hear how they turned out for you in the comment section below. Remember too that if you enjoyed this video to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And remember that you can follow me on all my social media and uh, that link for all that is on my link tree down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy eating.